Hey, hey, everybody, Kevin here with Pursuing Pixels, and I'm going to be checking out some Red Ronin here, and we're just going to get right into the action. We actually skipped most of this opening cutscene here, and we're just going to get right into the gameplay, and this is technically a turn-based action game, but it's more of like a puzzle game, um, and you'll see right away what I mean by that, and we're just going to get right into the action, like I said, and the game doesn't waste any time, really, and the opening cutscene is short and sweet, and basically, if you just press up, down, left, or right, and you will move all the way until you uh, hit a wall or an obstacle and the music will kick in shortly and you just have to get to the end of each stage or each like this little yellow uh, tile and eventually we're going to get some enemies thrown into the mix and I've just played a little tiny bit of this game and immediately loved it uh, and this one's from Wired Dreams uh, Studios I think is the name it's Wired Dreams for sure but I can't remember if it's studios or games um, but yeah you just slash these enemies uh, just by basically crossing through their path and I love how it like the UI, everything is just so smooth in this game, um, and the gameplay is just could not be could not be better. And I'm just so so pumped to check out more of their games. There's actually another game that we're gonna showcase or spotlight as well, um, called uh, Raven's Hike from the same developer, and it's got the same actually uh, kind of sense of mechanics. And here I'm gonna get slashed. So okay, I gotta remember this is where I first started dying uh, in the beginning as well. So I gotta kind of lure this enemy my way. Um, without, yeah, here we go. Bring it my way, and I'm sure I can do it in fewer turns, but, um, you know, and the, again, it has that arcadey element of racking up uh, scores. But yeah, their other game, Raven's Height, kind of uses the same mechanic where you press up, down, left, or right to move all the way to one, you know, all the way until you hit an obstacle or a wall or whatever. But on top of that, okay, let's lure this punk my way. There you go, buddy. Um, that one's more of like a side-scrolling platformer, but I, yeah, I'll, let's focus on Red Ronin here uh, before I get sidetracked. But yeah, you have a grapple hook in that game, and uh, just awesome, awesome games from a, a new awesome developer that we stumbled across. So, um, and yeah, you can tell right away that this game is like quick. You know, you just get right into the action. Again, I played a little bit before this. Oh, shit. Um, and those spikes, even though they feel like, again, it's, it is turn-based, even though it feels like an action game, like... It is 100% turn-based where you are... Okay, so this is going to kill me if I go into those spikes. But, like, I can stand on these spikes all day and wait here forever if I want to. Um, they're never going to pop up until I pop up uh, on them. So I think what I want to do here is, yeah, loop around. Oh, I could have slashed them right there. Okay, whatever. That'll still work. But, yeah, I am really, like, really into this game. And, yeah, there's even some new abilities. So this is – I didn't get much further than this. But, yeah, this is going to freeze time for one turn. So right here I would obviously die if I didn't have the option to freeze time. And just everything about this game, the aesthetics. Um, and, yeah, okay, they're even going to throw. And I have to – that is, like, an actual collectible. So you don't have, like, that ability um, on each stage. You have to actually collect it. Um because, yeah, I can't use it here just yet. But once I collect this one, I can slash these fools up. Oh, shit. Okay, so I got to freeze time there. Okay. So we'll freeze here, get the double kill. Then they have to wait a turn. Now come my way. Uh, they're going to kill me here, I think. If I go that way. Oh, no, the spikes kill them. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Now what do I need to do here? I think this is... Oh, shit. I, oh, I, I get another... Uh, time freeze so i just i just gotta actually use it okay so the time freeze makes it so the spikes don't pop up and i love how the enemies will always be in the same spot each time but time freeze boom slash and dash baby um but there'll be different enemies like they're kind of randomly populate between like which character it'll be okay this is the other ability which i have not received yet so let's see what this is all about press the b button to enter tactic mode Okay. Use the analog stick to move me around. Oh, what? Point the arrow up. LB. Okay. And then what does that do? Is this like an attack? Press the B button to return to combat mode. Okay. Oh, I see what it is. It's like a booster. Oh, that's really cool. So I got to go here. Okay, B button, analog stick, which may, or you can use the D-pad, and then rotate this thing around. Uh, got it. Got it. Press the A button to place it, B button to return to combat mode, and it'll dash me. Yes, that is sweet. Okay, so again, we're going to keep this video kind of short and sweet. I'll play a little bit more here, obviously, but uh, obviously I'm going to have to use this. 
place this thing down here. So yeah, this is where you get into the, still feels much more puzzly than tactical to me. And I don't mean that in any kind of negative way. Um, I love me a good puzzle game. Um, okay, so now we're gonna have to place this again. Really great UI design, oh shoot. Um, where it shows like how many uses of each thing you have, uh, just those like chunky bars there so you know exactly how much uh, you've got with each ability. Okay, this is going to kill me, so freeze time. Kill this fool, kill this clown. Go oh, not what I meant to do, but I'll take it. Move away. Okay, another kill. Uh, I don't know. Shit. Ah, fuck, okay. Pretty close for the first try on that say Oh, not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Pretty close for the first try. Um, so freeze. Boom. And this game would be, I think, really fun for folks that are into speed running. Um, just seems like it would be absolutely perfect for that. Um, so let's go... What I want to do is go here. Oh, nice, and it shows a little... Uh, like hazard where it's like, okay, you can't land here. But I think this will do the trick. Slash. Ah, shit. Okay. So I gotta go the other way. I was thinking it would go for the kill right away. Oh, gotta freeze time. But yeah, just so those super fast uh, level restarts. This game is awesome. <laughs> like, really, really awesome. Uh, I'm definitely gonna give this one a shout out on the podcast too, because this is, this is some top notch this is this is, we always joke in the discord like is something a kevin game or not this is most definitely could not be more of a kevin game um let's see how do i get this fool okay just a little dancing around just gotta dance oh we got a boss chatty kill her now let's go okay they're not wasting any time on the cutscenes. oh this game rules freeze time and then I want to go to tactic mode. Go here. Uh, that's all I got. Down. Boom. Freeze time again. If I need... Oh, no! I forgot I moved all the way. I was, like, used to one tile of time after that. Okay, freeze time. Boom. Tactic mode. Let's try that again. Leave tactic mode. Dice that fool. Okay, so I can't go all the way, so I want to freeze time again. Dice. Okay. Oh, they're just on the run. I'm chasing them. Okay, let's go, Chatty. What do you got? What do you got for me? Um, we go... Shit. Okay. How about we go like this? One dice. One dice. Oh, God. Um, I have another redirection. What do I want to do here? I think I want to go here. This might not be the right move, but I'm, I'm thinking it is. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, yes, it is. Keep running, chatty. I'm coming for you. Oh, yeah. Look who showed up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this game is awesome. Holy shit. And this kid just came out on consoles. It's been out for a little while on PC, but uh, which is where I'm playing it. But it just came out on consoles. And I am definitely going to be picking this up on Switch just to be able to play this in my bed. And again, it is like, it's puzzly, but you can definitely get, and I'm just ignoring the story here. <laughs> just like I, just like I always play games. Um, okay. Oh, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you easy. I'm gonna get you easy, chatty. Leave the mode. Gotcha! Oh, this game is so good. I just chopped their head off. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, what is this? Is it their head? Oh, that's amazing. Oh my god. Chatty just got decrypted. Decapitated and decrypted. Oh my god, this game is absolutely phenomenal. Um, I can't get enough, and it looks like we're on our way to chapter two as we uh, move our way down the elevator. This game is just oozing with style. Oh man, even getting a little like Katana Zero vibes from uh, from the action a little bit here, but uh, 
yeah, I'm just going to say thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. And I'm going to leave it here as I escape the uh, hotel or wherever I was here. The car's gone. Oh, man. Uh, so, yeah, we'll leave this one nice and spoiler-free and leave it here. Uh, but thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. And definitely check out this game and Raven's Hike which we will certainly be featuring as well uh, on the channel here. But yeah, I love these. Oh, I love how arcadey this game is, and I love how short and sweet that felt like. Oh, I got an S rank. That's how it's done, and I made a few mistakes there. Oh, this is so good. This game is amazing. I, I'm just rambling and raving at this point, a raving lunatic. But, oh, it's so Katana Zero. But, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, as always. Check out this game. Um, yeah, I can't recommend this enough. Red Ronin, thanks again, and take care.